30 minutes in, I gotta keep going. I don't know if that was a good idea. I didn't do 50 minutes, like I said I was going to do. In celebration of vlog number 50, I'm gonna try to run for 50 minutes. I did 64. I don't know if that was a good idea, but I'll know tomorrow. Holy crap, 50 vlogs. That's a lot of vlogs, that's a lot of recording, and that's a lot of editing. The most common question I get when people I meet see my vlogs, they always ask, where do you find time? How do you find time? to do these. During the day, when I'm bringing the camera with me throughout the town or throughout the drive or at home, really the vlog is only what, five, six, seven, maybe 10 minutes out of my day. So carrying the camera around and recording some of the things I do, it's not really taking too much time out of my day. Uh, if I'm driving somewhere, I just turn on the camera. Uh, if I'm walking in a store, I just carry it with me. So it's not really taking time out of my day to do that. I'm just recording what I'm doing. So that doesn't really take too much time. Yeah, sometimes when I bring the drone out and you know stop off at a rest stop or head out of the house to do some drone flying around the house, that might be 15, 20 minutes out of my day. Now, as for the editing part, especially the first probably two weeks of making this vlog, um, I had been editing videos for a while so I was fairly comfortable already using the editing program but finding out what parts of the vlog to include in that vlog and to, to kind of make a story out of it that was pretty time consuming off the bat I was recording way too much and I was going through and adding clips taking clips out and trying to find a technique or a rhythm to the edit so the first couple of weeks of making the vlog you know would take me to do a 10 minute vlog would take me probably three hours three and a half hours and uh, basically I did it after dinner and uh, instead of watching TV or binge watching some Netflix, uh, after dinner I went right to editing. And uh, when I was on the road, sometimes I started editing pretty late at night. I'd go to bed around midnight, a little later than I'm used to, but as I did it more and more and more, I got faster with it. Uh, I also learned during my day what to vlog, what not to vlog, so I didn't have so many clips to go through at the end of the day. So now for me to do a 10 minute vlog, uh, probably takes me about an hour and a half. So after dinner, I sit down on the computer at maybe 6.30, 7 o'clock, and by 8.30 the vlog's pretty much done. I'm uploading it to YouTube. So it's not really taking that much time out of my day. Okay, that's enough talking for the vlog. Work is done for this afternoon. I got a bunch of errands to do before dinner, so let's get to it. Time for a quick lunch and no i'm not doing a cheeseburger even though i did burn over 600 calories this morning gonna do healthy gonna do sushi <music> yummy lunch at my secret sushi place becoming my new favorite place too now to get done with all these errands Number two, done. Um, springs come back. Again. For the 13th time this year. Maybe it'll snow tomorrow again. But uh, I can't fly the drone in town. So I need to go out of town 
not too far, but there's a spot out in the mission that according to some map online, I can fly a drone out there. So uh, it's about 10 minutes from here. I'm gonna rip out there and uh, maybe get the drone going. Okay, just got home after doing all those errands and chopping stuff for the day. Dropped off everything at the house. Now I gotta race back to the airport. Uh, there's a uh, guy who lives here in Kelowna. He's actually the president of the Kelowna Flying Club. Uh, he just spent the last two months flying all over South America, uh, fundraising for the Hope Air Charity. And he's landing at five o'clock today. It's 4.20 right now. So we're all racing down to the airport to greet him. I gotta get to the airport. Nobody's going this way, Doris. Good, I was just panicking, thinking I should drive to the Hangar 9 in case there's people there going, thinking it's there. It's, they, it's clear, it's here, right? That's what you said the other day. That's what I keep saying. There was no one over at Hangar 9 when I drove past. Okay, then I won't go there. They're going to go park my plane. So he's supposed to do a little flyby first before he comes in for a landing. Uh, we can't really see him from here, so hopefully we catch him just as he comes across the runway doing his little flyby. <laughs> so, so I'll just say a couple of words. Um, a couple? A couple. <laughs> As you know, we raised just over 500,000, and 200 of that came from the volunteer pilots. Terry? Wow. So thank you. Wow. We didn't have any, any particular mishaps. Uh, I had a failure, uh, all nighter failure with Terry on Monday, Monday uh, or Tuesday afternoon. Yes. And then this morning on the flight up from Oregon, my autopilot failed. So this I think was the 77th flight just now, and it wasn't until the 76th the autopilot failed. So John, my, my engineer here, John's got a few little wrinkles to work out for me for that, and uh, it's good to be. That was pretty cool. They raised over half a million dollars for that charity. They fly uh, sick children around BC to um, from remote areas to larger cities, larger centers that I got hospitals for the sick children. And uh, he raised half a million dollars for that charity, so good on him. That formation flying was pretty cool to see right on the runway there. But, it's getting cold, been hungry. It's Friday night, time to go home. <laughs> 